Hey, this is Adam from Tech Dive. I'm just doing a quick kind of news cap on Vegas Pro 365. So, I do a lot of Vegas tutorials. A lot of you guys watching probably watch my Vegas tutorials, and you're wondering what is this new Vegas Pro 365 pricing model? Uh, I heard about it when you did. I was scrolling down Facebook and I saw Vegas Pro 365. And uh, at first I was kind of shocked and surprised and a little scared because uh, that's what made everyone so upset at Adobe. It does give some entry level people some quick options, but you sell your soul and you pay uh, infinitely to Adobe for forever. And I was immediately worried that uh, Magix was taking the same path with Vegas and that you could just sell your soul, pay $16 until the end of time, and then you get the software as a service. It makes sense in some models and for some companies, and it doesn't for others. It just depends on the uses. There's just so many different things about it. So uh, uh, let's talk about this. Pro Video Coalition's website has a really great article about this. Uh, it's called uh, new Vegas Pro 365 subscription model creates options and opportunities for editors. Uh, they're very good article. I'm going to read their quoting. So this is that article's quoting of uh, Gary Ripoll's Vegas Pro product owner. So this is uh, the guy, their spokesperson for it, I, the product owner. I'm not exactly sure his position. I don't uh, know everything about Magix, but. Uh, this is their this is their pro product owner as they say their their spokesperson what he's saying is anyone using Vegas Pro on a perpetual license that wants to continue doing so will absolutely still be able to do that said Gary Rebholtz Vegas Pro owner that was critically important for us because our existing user base if you still want to purchase the software outright or own it forever you have the same options for doing so the subscription plans are just another option for ex accessing and using the software and we will continue to offer the update perpetual sorry we will continue to offer and update perpetual license versions of Vegas Pro so if you buy the perpetual license version you will get the updates that comes out for that version if you get the 365 version you will get the updates and you will auto roll over to whatever new version they come out with there are reasons for both pricing models so what do I think about all of this well I think that uh, this you just think about this as a rental do you want to rent it do you want to buy it you can rent it or buy it but Here's something that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about as they're upset about this, which, which like I said, there's no reason to be upset. They just, they're offering another pricing model. If you were happy with their old pricing model, it still exists. So uh, there's that to consider. But the thing I think most people don't consider is the fact that movie studios exist because they think it's for kids or something. It's not. It's just a cheaper pared down version of Pro. People don't like the word pared down, but I'm going to be honest, you probably don't use more than Movie Studios Platinum offers. You probably don't even use most of what Movie Studio Platinum offers. Movie Studio Platinum offers more than what most people need. Uh, if you go and you look at the software, let's look at it. It's, uh, it says $140 I got it for 80. It's 60 right now. It goes on sale a lot. There's, uh, you can get the more pared down version, but Platinum's where I like to hang out. Platinum, I still have it on my laptop. I have Pro on my desktop. I have Platinum on my laptop. I edit with Platinum still a lot, and I don't really miss anything. There's definitely things that Pro offers. So just you know, some advanced masking. So you can do some limited, very limited masking in Movie Studio Platinum. You can do advanced masking in Pro. If you need advanced masking, if you need sophisticated multicam editing workspaces if you need extreme extreme color correcting where you're trying to like colorify an entire movie and make it all look like you one unified color palette or if you need 365 degree motion tracking then you might need Vegas Pro uh, that's the big differences but if you're not using those things if you're simply just cutting look they have a little example here if you're populating a bunch of clips in audio and you can you just need basic edits on all these things. When I say basic, I mean, really, this is kind of advanced. You know, you got several tracks here. You got uh, fades in and fades out and transitions on this stuff. You have, uh, there's a gain leveling that you can take the same track, the same clip with no cutting and change the gain on it with uh, um, keyframe points or whatever they call them for the gain. I can't remember right now. But, you know, like looking at this, this is, this is what most all projects look like and this is not even the full extent of what movie studios can do and boom here it is 
So if you're worried about this new Vegas Pro 365 pricing model, um, don't. And if you don't want to pay $600 for Pro, don't. You can get Movie Studios 14 Platinum. If you want the things I listed out, the sophisticated multicam editing and stuff like that, then you're probably a professional with $10,000 cameras and a $600 editing software ain't nothing for your studio. Uh, you could probably buy as many copies and licenses as you need. But if you are worried about that pricing model, then this is probably the price range and the level of production that you're working at. Like I said, still got so many, so much of the functionality of Pro. I can't even... Oh man, I like I said, I still use it. I don't just low go, oh gosh, I can't use this. I have to use Pro now. I have both. I still use Movie Studio. So that's my opinion. That's what's going on with Vegas Pro 365. Thanks for watching. Check out our tutorials, our computer enthusiast videos if you're looking for more tech dive fun stuff. See you next time.